quarter morning. So this is the iconic Gory Coty. So Coty, as you remember, is the steep south-facing slopes. You can see over there, that one has been harvested. We're here today, very exciting, filming some TV stuff for this morning. So we're going live on ITV at 10 o'clock, which is very exciting. We've got John Tarot coming, and then we're going to be speaking to Derva and Alison in the studio. So very exciting morning, and we're lucky to have a perfect day. Sun is shining, tide is up, it's Gory Harbour. Um, in the background there, all the boats bobbing away, and that's the iconic Montel Guy or Gory Castle. So, yeah, exciting morning ahead, and we'll show you some clips of what we got up to. So, this is us here. As you can see, we're harvesting potatoes on the Coties. That's a steep south facing slope. ITV film crew are all here, and we'll show you the, some of the footage they filmed um, in a short while, and then after that, we'll go through and just talk about a bit about the harvesting process, as you can see in front of us. Also on the show, John Tarode is on the hunt today for the perfect potato. Morning, John, where are you? G'day, how you doing? I am here in beautiful Jersey, this amazing Cody. Yes, I'm on a plow, and I'm here to show you the incredible Jersey Royals. Uh, there is Gory Castle, there's the harbour, and I'm here with the iconic Jersey Royal Potato and one of the incredible farmers. Phil, g'day. How are you? Very good. You've been you. farming Jersey Royals uh, in Jersey for over 41 years. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to actually get some out of the ground. Is that right? Because yeah. the season started. Yeah, yeah. So we started lifting here. So you can see crop is uh, ready to go. It's still um, it's still quite uh, moist because we've had lots of rainfall. Right. But, um, slowly the um, field is uh, beginning to dry out a bit. Right, um, so in here we've got our potatoes. Yeah, somewhere here. Somewhere here, we'll find yeah, a couple we'll of spuds. Some. I'll say they're, um, they're a bit of a challenge because they're all uh, all covered in mud, but that's what keeps them nice and fresh. So, they're not, there they are, straight there out of the are. ground. Yeah. Perfect. They're uh, absolutely incredible. Jersey Royal potatoes. Here. So that's it. So Jersey Royals, and, and they're grown here on these incredible coaties. Why are they grown on an angle like this? Well, basically, these are south-facing slopes, right. um, and uh, we plant them uh, with a shoot on um, just after Christmas. And uh, because the uh, the field gets the sunshine all day long, um, they warm up very quickly, and um, they're growing, uh, and they'll be the first potatoes into the UK shops. Fantastic! They're coming to the UK shops soon, and you get to eat them live in the studio today. And I'm going to cook some. Yeah. The sun is shining; it's a beautiful day. Uh, I look forward to you telling me what you think of these potatoes because they're fantastic. Oh, I'm looking so forward to that. Jealous, John. So this is where John was set up. This is the behind the scenes of the actual shoot. So as you can see here, table, little gas stove. This is where he cooked live on this morning um, his recipes. And if you can see in a second, we're gonna show you the clips that went out live on this morning. <laughs> celebrate the return of the Jersey Royal season, which is always a great time of the year, with the one and only John Tarot. Now, John has been foraging all morning on the cliffs of Jersey uh, to serve up some perfectly cooked potatoes. Hello, John. Morning. G'day. Well, I'm glad that you're having a nice time in the studio because we're having a, a beautiful time here. The sun is shining. Uh, right now, I've got my Jersey Royals there, which have just come out of the ground. I've got some sea bass, which came from Gabby from a fish van. Now, down here, on you can see on the coty that the guys are still picking the uh, potatoes. And just consider that, that fish has just come from the waters just out there and it's been line caught. So we're going to start how to eat the Jersey Royal as it should be. It should be about the potato. Now, they come out of the ground, they've been handpicked. These will be, these ones here will be in the supermarkets in the UK tomorrow, which is extraordinarily quick. But for me, the best way to serve them is actually just to have them with something delicious like butter and cheese. So I boiled some potatoes, and in here, I've also cooked myself a little camembert with some white wine. So you're going to start with the potatoes, just boil the jerseys as they are. The secret to cooking jerseys, in my opinion, is never plunge them into cold water. If you're going to cool them down, just let them sit and cool down naturally, and that way they'll hold their shape, but it also means you won't wash away the beautiful nutty flavour that is so important about these amazing potatoes. Take them out of the water, and then literally put a little bit of butter on them. Now, Luckily, because it's Jersey, I've also got some Jersey butter. Now, just a little bit, just a, a little tiny bit here and there, not very much. Just a touch of butter and maybe a little bit of salt and pepper. 
So we've just seen how John has cooked those amazing recipes and our Jersey rolls perfectly. That's how we like them too, just plain. No, not too much on them. Plain with Jersey butter and a bit of salt is perfect. Just to show you how fresh they were, the ones that he was cooking, this is some footage of the gales picking them up about 15 minutes before he was cooking them. So you can't get fresher than that. And we're now gonna show you in the next few clips the process of actually how we are harvesting these potatoes on these slopes overlooking the beautiful views we've got, as you can see here. So the whole process starts, we've got John Deere 6130 and we use a cable, cable driven winch. This is the close up of the winch. You can see it's PTO driven. So PTO is the bit that comes off the tractor and provides the power to the winch. There's a metal cable which is then attached to the plow. This is a really good close up view of the plow. That's what actually turns the potatoes out of the ground. Um, so you can see here, the plow is pushed down. The plow actually fell over there. But the plow is taken down um, to the bottom of the slope each time. And it's driven back up by the winch to turn the potatoes over. So you can just see it here. It's unreeling. We put it in neutral and the guy easily goes down down the bottom of the slope. So he's running off down to the bottom. So you can see now the guys have got to the bottom of the slope. The PTO of the tractor is now engaged and it drives and pulls the metal cable back up the slope. Um, you jump back on the plow. It's quite a skillful job actually doing this. You've got to make sure the plow stays in the, in the right place. Um, good, you'll have good balance as well. Um, and basically yeah, it's very simple. It's not that complicated. As you can see there, the plow literally turns us all over and the potatoes, it's a bit hard to see because it's a bit wet at the moment, um, un un unearths the potatoes and the guys come along and pick them up. So once the potatoes have been ploughed up out the ground, they're then hand-picked. So you can see all the guys here, all in their even sections. They all have about a section four or five metres long, which each time the plough goes up, they then pick up their own area. They'll harvest them into the little baskets, and then they'll tip their baskets into the grey trays, as you can see on the left-hand side of the picture, before those trays are carried down and put on a trailer and taken back to the pack house. Um, we will do a few more episodes in our field to plate series of actually showing the whole packaging and the, the packing process before they're sent off to the UK um, for to all the supermarkets and wholesalers. So the last job, as you can see this chap coming up here, he's just sowing the cover crop. This is really important part of the process and it helps reduce any soil runoff or soil erosion. So this is a barley, barley cover crop with a bit of vetch in and it will just help, well it'll, really, it'll grow really quickly. Once the potatoes are harvested, um, it will emerge, germinate, and provide a green cover on this field for the rest of the year until it's planted with potatoes again next year. You can see there, it's the barley. It's gonna grow really well and just help protect our soils. So thank you so much to everyone who's been watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. We had a great time filming. John was a cracking guy and stay tuned for our next video on Wednesday where we'll be showing you more of our harvesting as we progress to the slightly less steep slopes and we'll see you all soon.